Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today I'm going to continue with my Big Game Snacks series of videos. That's, you know, snacks that you make for really important sporting events. And uh, today we're going to be making sweet heat pork belly burnt ends on the pellet grill. Stick around. So I posted a video yesterday uh, where I made some nachos. Um, this is the first time that my football team, the Cleveland Browns, have made it into the playoffs in quite some time. And uh, I made the nacho video and I kind of at the end of it said uh, under my breath that I thought there was no chance they were going to win in the wild card round against the Steelers. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, they beat the Steelers. So here we are today where we have to uh, play the Chiefs, uh, the, the reigning Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Um, I'm not going to say they're not going to win because I did that last time and, uh, you know, they pulled it out. So I have no idea what's going to happen, but this is a much bigger, much more important game. So I am up in the ante from nachos a little bit. We are going to be making pork belly burnt ends today. Um, I have a recipe already on my website for pork belly burnt ends. I made them on my Weber Smoky Mountain. Um, they're great. Uh, the ones that I made, I'll put a link to them up here, are kind of just all sweet. They're sugar and honey and maple syrup. They're nothing but sweet. Um, I wanted to do a version of them that had a little bit more flavor profile to it because, you know, people call these things pork candy and they're not lying. It is really just a sweet, crispy, gooey blob of pork. It's, it's fantastic. Um, but I wanted to add a little bit more depth to it. So for this one, I'm going to be doing the sweet heat version of it, which is where my rub has a little bit more kick to it than the, the average just basic barbecue rub. I'm actually going to be making two different um, sets of pork bellies in this video. The first one's going to use some rubs that came from uh, Louisiana Grills. I'm going to use their uh, sweet rib rub and I'm also going to use their sweet heat rub. I'm going to kind of do a combination of those. Their sweet heat rub is great. I don't want it to be quite that hot though, so I'm going to cut it back a little bit with the sweet rib rub. The next set is going to be a rub that I made myself. Um, I'm going to mix that up for you right now and I'll show you the ingredients on the page and I will also put them in the description down below. All right, so once uh, you got the rubs all figured out and everything, you're gonna need a pork belly. I've got this 11 pound one from Costco. Um, so by the time I trim it and cut it up, it'll probably be closer to about, you know, five pounds of each type of pork belly. And I like to cut them into about inch squares, maybe a little bigger. Rule of thumb with these things, if you go bigger than an inch, you're gonna have more like pillowy, kind of like almost gooey pork belly burnt ends. If you go around an inch, they're gonna crisp up a little more. So you have a little bit more crisp and then the center will be soft. Depends on what you like. I like to be mine to be kind of crisp on the edges. So I tend to go about an inch when I do it. And when I cut them up, I'm gonna put them in two separate pans just because it makes it a whole lot easier to kind of keep track of them. I've got this one big foil pan though, and that's what I'm gonna to use to put my rub on. You could be really meticulous and just kind of, you know, rotate all the pork belly pieces each time you apply the rub to make sure everything's coated. I just dump a ton on there and just kind of shake them around to get them all coated nice and even. To smoke these things today, I am going to be using my LG 900 pellet smoker from Louisiana Grills. And I'm gonna be running this thing at 250 degrees. I'm gonna be using maple pellets. I like the way maple pellets work with this. Um, I already have maple syrup in it. I just feel it complements it. Maple gives a really nice, sweet, smoky smell. So, um, you know, that's what I'm gonna keep with. But any sort of fruit wood would be great. You have a peach, cherry, apple, um, anything like that would be fantastic. I probably wouldn't use something really strong like an oak or a hickory, and I definitely would not use mesquite. No, that'd be gross. I'm gonna chuck my insulated blanket on top of the smoker. Um, I have a video for this. I'll put a link up top. Um, I do a full review of cooking with the insulated blanket and without the insulated blanket to give you a really good idea of whether it's worth it or not. And let me just say, before you watch the video and see all the scientific data, it's definitely worth it. When I put these on the smoker, I'm gonna actually put them on a uh, wire rack inside of my smoker. The reason I do that is 
my smoker, like most smokers, is not a perfectly, you know, the same temperature side to side, front to back. So this way, halfway through the cook, I can switch where the racks are, and it's much easier than picking up little pork bellies and kind of figuring them out like a puzzle. That way, they all stay together so that I know which ones are which. I'm gonna put a toothpick in the in the one of the pork bellies that has my rub on it, just so I know which one's which by the time they're all done. So once they're laid out on the, on the wire racks, uh, close up the lid, they're gonna go for two hours. But like I said, at the one hour mark, I'm gonna crack this open and I'm gonna rotate them around. I'm gonna spin them and switch which side of the grill they're on as well. After those two hours are up, then this is where people call this stuff pork candy. This is where the candy action comes in. Um, I'm gonna take them all off and put them back into one of those small foil pans. And to them each, each set, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup, between a quarter and a half cup of brown sugar. Uh, I'm gonna add probably about a quarter cup of maple syrup. I'm just eyeballing it. I just kind of squiggle it all over the top and let it soak in. And then a half cup or one stick of butter to each tray as well. There are some people that use that, um, that parquet squeeze butter, but I don't know if you've ever read the ingredients of that stuff. It's, uh, it's closer to motor oil than it is to actual butter. So I, I, try, I stay away from that stuff. It scares me, it's gross. It's like butter flavored jello. It's <laughs> Anyway, once you have all those ingredients on there, you're gonna cover it up nice and tight with foil. It's gonna go back on the smoker at 250 degrees for another two hours. So it's basically gonna baste in that stuff and really just get that really nice, super sweet buttery flavor on there. It's gonna be delicious. When the two hours are up, what you wanna do is uh, drain off all the juice or transfer the pork belly pieces to uh, a fresh pan, wh whichever is easiest. Um, and then you're gonna coat them with your favorite barbecue sauce. On um, the Louisiana Grill one, I'm just using this honey barbecue sauce that I got from uh, the local grocery store. And then for the ones using my rub, I'm just using some Stubbs original um, sauce on there. Um, it, I'd say it's probably about a quarter cup, but if you like them saucier, you can go more than that. I'm just looking to really lightly coat all the pieces with a little bit of sauce. And now before you serve these, you're gonna put them back on the smoker at 250, uncovered, for about 15 to 20 minutes. You really just want that barbecue sauce to kind of tack up. You want it to kind of, you know, adhere there and almost cook a little bit just to get on the surface and, and really, you know, seal it up there. And there you have it, sweet heat pork belly burnt ends on the pellet grill. Uh, they're delicious, they're perfect for the big game, whether it's the Super Bowl or in this case, you know, divisional playoffs or whatever. Um, hopefully I'll be back next week. Um, if the Browns beat Kansas City, I might have to make a really huge video. I don't know, because that would be absolutely nuts. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Uh, make sure you um, follow my Facebook page. Just go to Facebook, type in Dave's Ohio Barbecue. You should be able to find it. And then make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscription button down below. Hit the bell next to it. That way, you'll get a notification every time I make a new video. Got a lot of videos coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.